Hey yo everyone, recently the Infinity Island application that we know was removed from Play Store, most likely because, well, it showed up on a famous YouTuber video and a lot of Nintendo fanboys decided that it was a good idea to take it down. So there is a new app on the Play Store and if you actually want to play on it, you have to do an account transfer. In this video, I will tell you all about this account transfer, how to transfer your account, if you lose anything and I'll explain you all the details. Let's go. Here are some gift codes for today. They only work one code per player, so remember to subscribe to the channel to not miss any codes in the future. First question, do you need to do the transfer? Well, uh, technically no, you don't need to do the transfer, but it is advised that you do it. The reason is, on the old application now, on the Infinity Island application, what happens is that they don't support Google Play Store anymore. So even if you just want to spend one dollar, imagine, imagine there's a good event and you just want to spend one single dollar, you have to use an application called XSOLA, which uh, can be complicated for some people to actually use. But imagine that you have actually zero interest in spending money in the game and you are wondering, Danny, should I do the transfer because uh, will this application, the Infinity Island application, will it stop being supported? And the answer is no. From what the admins say is exactly the same application. You can continue using Infinity Island application, there's like absolutely no problem because it will always be supported. Now, if you want to transfer your account, it's very easy. First of all, you need to download the new application. We go over here to download APK and we click on Play Store. On the Play Store, it should take you to the Soul Guardian. On the Soul Guardian, you just install and this is the new game. Now, just open the application that you installed and you can see that is exactly the same game. You just need to wait a few moments while the APK is completing the download. After everything is loaded, you can see the events over there and you are going to use exactly the same login method that you used on your original account. In my case, it's Google, so I am going with Google. Now that I am logging in with Google, you can see that I do not have my account over here. It says my server, it has nothing over here. This is because we need to create a new account. And this is, well, the reason why the transfer exists. Sadly, even if you just use exactly the same login details with your, this new application, your login doesn't exist over here, but it, it is exactly the same game, exactly the same servers, and you will play with exactly the same people so do not worry you will still be playing the game as normal but we need to create your new account exactly on the same server that you play on your old account now just quickly create an account it doesn't matter the name the main the name actually does not matter and what happens is that you need to go and complete a little bit of missions um let's just say i think it's only until level three or something we always try to click over there on your avatar it's not working i think we need to select our starter pokemon first it will be like very quick don't worry Okay, now I am able to click on my character. Click on your character and you will be sent to this screen over here. And this is exactly what you want. Because now you need to send an email to this email that I will show right now on the screen. And you need to show them three evidences. Your old account's profile, your new account's profile, and your old account's role standing in the map. Well, this just means let's go back to the Infinity Island. And once you are logged in on your main account, you are going over here. You take a screenshot of this over here and you go to your email and say something like Hello, I want to make an account transfer, please. And you post the screenshots that they requested. So first of all, is this a screenshot showing your name and your ID? The second screenshot is going to be your role standing anywhere, any map. We just do it like this. And we screenshot exactly this over here. We also put that on the email. And now we go back to the new account we created. We also screenshot the screen over here. And we come back to the email and we post a new screenshot over here. 
And that's about it. You only need to double check if the email is okay and you just send the email so that you request your account transfer. Within 24 hours, you should get a reply like this that I'm showing on the screen. And then you just have to wait until your account transfer is done. You can easily see when your account was transferred because, well, when you log in with your credentials on the old account, you'll probably see the fresh new account that you created. So when this happens, I think you can just go to the Soul Guardian and you log in with your credentials. And there you go, you are now logged in on your account on the new application. I hope this video was helpful for some of you and if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.